In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make your own lavender rose face mist. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new, make sure that you subscribe before you leave and click the little bell. That way you're notified every single time that I upload a video and you're not missing out on any of these really cool videos that I'm putting out for you guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be actually showing you guys how to make your own face mist. It's an all natural lavender and rose face mist. So this face mist is really, really good to calm your skin. Lavender is amazing to just calm down your senses, calm down your energy, your body, your mind. And lavender is also really soothing for your skin, especially if you have eczema or acne or dry skin or any kind of irritation on the skin. Lavender helps to calm and soothe those. And also roses are extremely powerful in anti-aging. Also, for all my subscribers, you guys already know that my channel has a lot of manifestation videos and spiritual videos. Um, and roses spiritually have a very important important role. I say this in a lot of my videos that human beings we vibrate at a certain frequency and roses have a higher vibration than we do. So I think it's such a beautiful way to lift and raise our vibrations especially when you're not having a good day, you're not feeling your best or you just want to vibrate higher. I like to store mine in little tiny spray bottles like this because I throw one in my purse, I throw one in the fridge, I like to have one in the bathroom and I use these up fairly quickly. That's why I like to just have little ones. Now, if you guys want to make a bigger batch you definitely Definitely can there's no correct measurement or incorrect measurement I kind of just eyeball it however much rose I want in one batch or however much lavender I want in another batch um, in this batch it was kind of equal here are the items that you're going to need you're going to need a handful of rose petals these are fresh rose petals that I just picked from my garden and then I have a little tiny spray bottle an empty spray bottle you can definitely empty out an older spray bottle if you want to I ordered myself a bunch of these miniature ones just so that I can throw them in my purse or just keep them on me wherever I go and then you're going to need some dried lavender now if you can't get your hands on dried lavender like this you can definitely go to your grocery store and just pick up lavender tea step number one is that you want to add a cup of water to a little pot on your stove on high heat just to get the water boiling and then once your water is boiling then we'll go on to step number two by the way I just used one cup of water I'm making myself a small little batch it's basically lavender and roses like optional to your taste however much you want to put you can put if you want stronger rose smell or if you want a stronger lavender scent it's totally up to you so once your water is boiling you're gonna want to go ahead and add your rose petals in there also you want to make sure you turn the heat off and you also want to sprinkle in your lavender and then what you're gonna do is you're going to cover that and let that cool down completely so I don't know if you guys can fully see, but basically the petals will start to lose its color after it's all cooled down. And the lavender gets really, really soggy as well, and the water turns into a really pretty, like, red color. When your mixture is all cooled down, you just want to strain it and pour it into your little bottle. So my rose water came out perfect. It's this beautiful, beautiful red color, and it smells really, really good. Now I like to keep this mixture in the fridge and I like to keep it in the fridge just so it doesn't go rancid. Another reason that I like to use the smaller bottles is because like I just use it all up. Lavender is very, very calming. Um, lavender calms your energies and if you're feeling frazzled or anxious or worried, stressed, mad, angry, depressed, like these kinds of emotions, lavender is something that really just calms you down, lets you breathe. Why do I like to use this as a face mist? Basically because roses are such a powerful ingredient in anti-aging. It gets rid of fine lines, wrinkles, crow's feet, forehead lines, sagging skin, dark spots, acne, acne scars. It just makes your skin feel and look so fresh and vibrant and healthy. It helps the texture of your skin, it also helps your pores, and it's very refreshing and it smells amazing. The lavender in here really calms the skin and soothes the skin. If you have like itchy skin, a lot of acne, um, like eczema flare-ups, then lavender is really, really good to calm the itching, calm the inflammation, and to calm that irritation that's going on. Lavender is amazing for that. And this is all natural, so you can spray it all over your face. You don't have to worry about getting into your eyes or anything. Another thing that I like to do with this is just spray it all over my house. I feel like it really changes the energy of the home. Um, it just gets rid and pushes away of like any negative energy and also it just brings in and draws in such a cozy warm 
beautiful loving energy inside the home the roses and the lavender just calm everything and makes everything smell good and refreshed and happy and cheerful and upbeat and so you could also use this as a mist around your house now, if you are using this on your skin this is how I like to use it I just like to pop it out of the fridge whenever I feel like I want it and then I will just spray it all over I also like to spray this in the morning right before I put my makeup on it's cool and it just wakes you up and the smell of the roses and the lavender really put my mindset in a good frame of mind and it just puts me in a good state of mind especially in the morning and then at nighttime after I wash my face I will spray this on and it just really helps calm the day and again I do like to keep this in the fridge you don't have to keep it in the fridge you could actually keep it out right by your bed or in your bathroom or whatever I hope you guys enjoyed this video also if you guys want to purchase these from me go ahead and email me I will leave my email link down below but you can make it at home yourself it's really really easy but I make them in these cute little bottles and I know a lot of my subscribers ask me for the things that I make on my channel whether I sell it or not I do have an Etsy store um, you guys can visit my store but I'm I'm not selling this on there yet depending on how many of you guys want it then I'll start to sell it on the store but anyways thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one bye